on GT Channel with Sam Nitaani, James McKeon, and Taro Koki. Okay, hello live. everybody. We are live for our uh, sixth, is it? I think our sixth. Seventh. This seventh, seventh sorry, seventh podcast. Uh, this is GT Channel's Pod Speed. I'm here with um, Taro Koki, who is the GT Channel Meister. And to my left here is James McKeown, which. <laughs> I think I've got it right, right. You get it better every week. Okay. It's getting every, better every, every, it's every getting episode better. is getting I'm better. Getting better. I'm it's improving. Getting better. I'm missing my Italian heritage in that, though. Okay. I will say exactly. that. He is. Uh, so, but Reggie's asking, "How are we doing?" I think we're doing all right so we're far. We're doing guys. okay so far. Yeah, we're on. You know, we're 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 on both Facebook and Instagram. We're live. And, and James can, is the. You can catch the, uh, us on iTunes too now, by the way. Oh yeah, and you yeah. guys could oh, spot we'll ahead. Yeah. yeah. So. Uh, currently, we're streaming live on Facebook and on Instagram. We kind of get behind the scenes. It's vertical. It's we're not all in shot, but you know, you get the idea. Um, and we but go to Facebook. You'll yeah, go, you'll we get record. The we now. record this re- uh, podcast. So now we are on po- uh, Spotify, iTunes, and a bunch of other uh, podcast platforms. So you can find us later if you miss this live cast. Uh, video too? Uh, no, oh, audio, just audio, audio podcast. Yeah. Uh, so video, they can so watch, rewatch video, it on Facebook. Video, they can watch it on Facebook or go to GT Channel offline. That's okay. where we upload all of our videos. Okay. And then I haven't uh, said said this yet, but James is the uh, host of uh, the No Breaking podcast. That's correct. Uh, every week, there is a new exciting guest in the automotive industry. Correct. And who, what can we look forward to the next one? Or well, the one that you just did? The one that was uploaded today was Mitch Snow from Polyphony, makers of the famed Gran Turismo game. Uh, we talk all about his background, which is very deep in the Pikes Peak Hill Climb exactly. Challenge. Exactly, that's what And then from. also in regards to what's happening with Gran Turismo moving forward. So it's a real good episode. And that's next awesome. week, we've got a, one of my favorite journalists, Ila- Ilana Shah. She's mm-hmm. going to be on the show. And she's also tells us some fun stories about nice. her time on the Hot Rod Tour. Nice. Awesome. Nice. Awesome. Nice. We've also got Anwar on the live stream here on Instagram who wants to say hello. So hello, Anwar. Hello. Thank you so much, buddy. Hi. Thank you. Well, let's uh, just dive right into it because we have a lot of stuff to cover here. Jim um, is also very much looking forward to it. He's got lots of questions Jim for us. Jim from Facebook? Or Jim the Hall, yes. Oh, oh Jim. Our man, Jim Hall. Jim, make sure our Facebook is, is live and, and kicking. Yeah, yeah. Jim, if anything <laughs> is wrong, let us know. You're, you're kind of our if trouble audio, shooter, so. audio cuts off yeah. again, let us know. Text us. So we'll go straight, right, straight into it. Um, our first subject is the uh, future Mazda... Um, Front engine rear drive platform. Uh, we actually broke the story here, and everyone followed suit about what three weeks later. So we were right on top of this. Um, <clears throat> our friends from our spies in Japan and our friends from Best Car uh, were the ones who uh, kind of uh, generously uh, leaked the information to us, and they've even given us more. Uh, now we're hearing it's a 2022 debut, so we're talking about three years. And we have the coupe up here now because we're a uh, bigger uh, coupe. Um, sorry about that. It's, it There's always someone that doesn't yeah. sound the so, phone. Silent so your phone, guys. Silent sorry. your phone, guys. And so, then they forget. So, uh, I'm professional. Uh, yeah. It's, it's nice to see that Maguire's have joined us as well on the Instagram. No kidding. Awesome. Oh, nice. So anyways, this Mazda, uh, we have the coupe uh, image up here. And we're, this is um, from our artists that, uh, from what we're getting from within uh, the, our, res- our sources uh, from Mazda. Um, and we put the coupe up here because it, we, we, uh, we're more excited about the coupe than the sedan, but they're gonna both be cool. But uh, <clears throat> design aside, the th- uh, really exciting thing about this uh, automobile is the power plant that's gonna come in. It's gonna be the Skyactiv-6 <coughs> version, uh, inline six version of the Skyactiv-6. And right now the Skyactiv X is in the Mazda 3's uh, Mazda 3 right now, and I think you drove the Mazda 3 not that long ago, correct? I'm driving it right now. Well, oh, not yeah? literally right now, but this week I've got oh, it. Oh, yes. okay. Uh, but did you drive one before or no? No? Is this the first time you're driving it in a while? Yeah, this is oh, the first okay. time I'm driving a new one. Oh, okay. So that one will have the Ma- uh, Skyactive, uh, Skyactive t- X. And what the Skyactive X is, it's a, it's a really, really, really um, cool little engine. Uh, what it does is, it uh, they, in what Mazda calls spark controlled compression ignition, it kind of um, blends the technology of diesel and gasoline engine into this one engine. So you have compressed ig- ignition, which what diesels do, mm-hmm. and you have spark ignition, what what gasoline uh, engines do. Right. 
so what it does is part of it is spark, part of it is compression ignition. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, ignition and when that happens, Mazda claims this technology better uh, increases fuel efficiency by 20 to 30 percent, which is pretty huge. And then torque also goes up by 10 to 20 percent. So that's what Sky Active X is. What and kind of fuel does it take? Oh, just regular just leather. Regular. Yeah, but that's regular in, leather. But inline six, correct? Uh, the one we are hearing that's going to be in this car here is an inline six version of it. And what, uh, just by pure math, we're thinking it's going to be a three liter, just because uh, the um, the inline four uh, version in the uh, Mazda three is 499 cc per cylinder. So if you, if you know, by if you multiply that by six, we come up with uh, about two, 2,996 cc's, which is essentially a three liter displacement. Mm -hmm. so, uh, so what is also cool about this is because it has this, uh, this diesel technology, diesel-like technology, you can also expect a green diesel version of this, uh, this engine to come out also. So pure diesel and uh, the gas Skyactiv-X gasoline engine, which mm -hmm. blends diesel technology with gasoline right. launch. It's supposed, you know, it's, it's pretty phenomenal when you think about the technology because that's kind of what makes diesels really unique. And, yeah. and you know, the, the real deep science of this, we'd like to get, you know, uh, uh, an engineer to come and talk about it, but that's, that's where it is right now. So with this, uh, what's awesome is we hear that, I, I don't know if you guys remember, you guys remember back in 20, I think, 16, Mazda and Toyota and I shook hands and said, hey, we're going to share uh, technology together. Well, and that plant's up and running now. It's in the process of getting built. Yeah, and, you know, to me, I was thinking, wow, this is the first step in Toyota kind of mm. taking over Mazda. Yeah, but anyways, right. because of this, uh, our sources are saying you can see this engine in Toyota uh, products in the future. Mm. So yeah. you're saying you could see an inline six. Inline six. Three liter. Three liter, exactly. I just haven't, haven't, with isn't, with isn't Sky Active X. Isn't that sort of uh, <laughs> something that could be used in a certain Toyota vehicle right about now? Well, how about a Lexus? So I, we hear that oh, super. Lexus, <laughs> well, well, Super too, but the Le <laughs> we hear right now Lexus is going to be the new um, benefactors of this. Uh, Jim wants to say that he's really happy that Mazda have been a hats off to ha Mazda for being able to make this engine happen. Yeah, you know, uh, they were talking about it, you know, really, really cryptically a while back. Uh, this was back when I was with Road and Track, which is like six, seven years ago. And they said, you know, we got this thing coming out and it's re really unique, revolutionary. And I go, can you tell me anything about it? He goes, no, I can't, but yeah. it's pretty re re revolutionary. And, they're, they, and back then they were also already saying, yeah, you know, Toyota's really interested in, you know, what we're doing and we're... Yeah, it takes a long time to well, develop I, a oh, new yeah. engine. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They have a, a, an IMSA race car that gets 600 horsepower out of a two-liter engine. They can run that for 24 hours. Well, that's, yeah, that's so, a race engine. That's also right. called a Sky Active. Yes, <laughs> so, but the, the premise right, behind that is you could certainly detune that and that could certainly be put into maybe an RX-7 at some point in time. It wouldn't be a rotary, but it'd still be a very fast little engine. Well, I mean, that really opens up the possibility of a oh, new yeah. RX or mm -hmm. a new, right, with, right. A, with this engine. Um, the sports car. The cars that uh, probably benefit, I would think, from um, um, this new engine is the Lexus RC, mm -hmm. the, 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 the coupe, uh, which we hear, uh, the new one, all new one, even though the, I think the uh, minor change one is coming out this year or it's just come out, uh, is 2022, so it's, that, that's also in three years. So the timing is just about right when the Mazda, mm -hmm. uh, Mazda luxury coupe comes out, which if it's coincidental, great. You know, I, I think not. And another um, thing that we hear that Toyota or Lexus may be working on is a mini version of, a, of the LC. Now, that's how we see it looking right now. But uh, for me, I don't know. I mean, if you have an RC, do you need a mini LC? I mean, coupes are very hard to sell right now in the marketplace. I just think they should just make it a K car, make it a KC. <laughs> <laughs> well, I get the Sunshine Band guy. Exactly. To, yeah, you know, bring it right back. Bring it right back. retro sure a feel lot, to it. A lot, of our, a lot of our listeners don't. KC and the Sunshine Band. Who, That's, who, who uh, is that? You're dating Just, yourself. Are you going to give it up, Sam? Is that what you're going to do? Yeah, they're very good. Very good. He's good. <laughs> but anyways, uh, we hear they might be working on a mini version of the uh, LC, which is a, a small car that might who knows, might be built on the super Look, platform. A I don't KC, know, which is I, the BMW. I mean, that's the way I like it, you know. <laughs> 
How do you turn no, James' no, no. microphone? No, turn. <laughs> he's, Look, he's, the puns are going to keep coming, guys. He's in charge, he's he's in charge of the audio, so I don't know what to do yeah, about okay, that. Okay, yeah, he is. Now, but when, isn't essentially yeah. an RC a small version of, of the LC? Uh, kind of, you know. That's why uh, they but, did you know, Casey the, uh, and make it a smaller version here, of the LC. Even smaller. Okay, yeah. but here's the here's where the difference is, is, is. I think the RC is more of sporty performance car, especially when you go with the RCF. And while the LC is, you know, kind of a luxury coupe, right? right. So okay. I, I don't know. I don't know. I, I kind of see them in the same market, too. Okay. I mean, yeah, you too? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. so. Mini LC doesn't really ring up. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we I get know. the information. I'm with you. I'm yeah. not, I, I don't, don't know. know. But uh, they even supplied us with this beautiful, beautiful image yeah. of the LC. Well, how they think it might look. Which, it, it, it looks pretty good, you know. It looks like a Z. Ooh, you don't want to say that too loud. So, but what's interesting is with Lexus, if they have a three-liter inline six, yeah, they go straight, right straight after the uh, German makers, right, yes. with a coupe because the German makers, uh, let's see, the six series, which is going away with the eight series, which is going away. Well, the, so the M the M eights are going to take out. Oh, all right, the right, right. Going to overtake the the six series as they're like top of the range ones. But uh, right at, as of now, right it's, now, yes. yeah, it's 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 um, powered by a three liter inline six. Mm -hmm. So it goes, you know, right after the inline six. And you know, inline sixes are, are great engines, right? right. I mean, you know, they're. I mean, everyone loves inline sixes. I mean, from the GTR guys to the BMW guys. Uh, I mean, yeah. inline sixes are yeah. great engines. Super balance guys. wise, yeah, it's yeah, balance wise is awesome, right? Uh, also, it go it could go after the Ace Audi A7, which mm -hmm. is. Uh, powered by a three liter V6, mm -hmm. it's a V6, but still, it's still, you know, right there, the displacement is there. Uh, with an inline six, I think Lexus goes really, really head to head with some of these uh, uh, German, German um, luxury cars, which they really, really, I think, could do better at because, you know, in Europe, they're still, you know, Lexus doesn't sell as many as cars as they want to, right. you know, because the German brands are so strong. There. Right, mm -hmm. right. So I think this is something that they're looking at. Um, so what with is Mazda's it? engine, so which is awesome. So what is this factory doing right now, though? Do you, do you the Mazda, the, the the Mazda, Mazda Toyota one. It's a yeah. joint operation facility that they've started in, they uh, in Alabama, I think it is. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. What, do you know what they're making? Uh, okay. I don't know. I can't remember. I, I, I don't know. If, uh, someone. But yeah, Jim said that he would definitely, if there was a mini LC, he hopes it lines up with the quality of the larger LC, but then he'd be by one. He says, shut up and take my money. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, the mini LC could be a little bit, I don't know. The, it, 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 it should be a little cheap, you know, well, less expensive. And, yeah. yeah, go ahead. I was going to say, and Kevin thinks that uh, that last uh, one looks like a little like the new Supra. He thought the Z, that your LC, mini LC. Looks this one? Like oh, new Supra. yeah, 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 yeah. Well, it could be. Yeah. I mean, same, same well, company. Yeah. Same company. Same design principles same design. at least. Yep. You guys like the new Supra look? Yeah, I'm like it more to get okay. to drive it. Yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't like the bold on the, on the, on the head, the roof. What, on this car or on no, the no, Supra? No, no, on the Supra. Oh, well, it's aerodynamics. Yeah, I know. Yeah. So still doesn't look good. No. <laughs> okay, but um, uh, so uh, what do you guys think about the new engine coming? I mean, is it, and do you do you think it's 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 good for our industry? Good for us that. Uh, new Mazda, in a new inline six. Inline six. Yeah. Mazda's, Mazda's engine going into Toyota cars. I mean, is this a good thing? All these companies starting to. I think. Kind of I, th I think it's in inevitable. You know, with no, globalization kind of, yeah. and plus, I mean, it just costs too. It's, it just costs so much to develop something new. Yeah. It, it makes sense to, you know, for one company to put their resources for you know five six years like you were talking about on right. one engine and with a number of cars that Mazda sells, mm -hmm. they can't get a return on that investment yeah. unless they work with someone like Toyota that can really sell volume. Make, make volume money, yeah. I think you're absolutely right about being event inevitable, especially the Japanese car makers, because, all right, you guys, here's a, here's a test real quick. How many Japanese car makers can you name right now? Go ahead. Just, there's Toyota, Nissan. Toyota, Nissan, uh, Honda. Keep going. Uh, what, makers or makers, brands? Yeah, you don't have to go brands, just okay, makers. Yeah. So there's Toyota, Nissan, Honda. There's a big three, but there's and more. Then what, what are what, we talking about what, now? Yeah, the Mazda. Mazda. Subaru. 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 Mitsubishi. Fuji, Mitsubishi. Okay, well, there's six right there. I mean, we're not talking about the Daihatsu's or anything, right? We're not right? talking about Daihatsu. Well, okay. we should be talking about Suzuki and Suzuki? Daihatsu because they're oh, the Suzuki? premier ones. You yeah. could say Suzuki. Suzuki. Okay, so all right, so we're at seven. Okay, we're at seven. Mi uh, Mitsuoka. No, no, Mitsuoka. Definitely no. Mitsuoka. No, that uh, Mitsuoka <laughs> don't count. Tommy Kaira. Yeah, no. definitely Tommy. I'm okay, but Tommy. anyways, all right. So seven kind of major ones, right? Oh, yeah. All right, how many how many uh, uh, U.S. manufacturers can you name? 
Let's test tower time. Test. Come on. Yeah, it's four GM. Four GM Chrysler. Chrysler, Fiat, which is kind of Fiat, but it's all right. right? Four GM. That's American still, yeah. right? Dodge Chrysler is still the same. Yeah, thing, that, right? that's all. So yeah, it's all Chrysler. There's three. There's right kind there. of three. The big three, but yeah. there's three, right? How many in Europe? BMW. Well, not Europe, but Germany, right? Germany, BMW, BMW Audi, Mercedes, I mean, Audi. And if you call, you could count Opel if you want. But yeah. what my point is, there's in that get small to country. Point, I'm Sam. going get, get to, to my your point. In that small little island country called Japan, where there's not that many people. There are a lot of. There's manufacturers. seven freaking manufacturers. When all these other countries, they don't have nearly that much. So yeah, maybe you're right. It's time for them to kind of join yeah. forces and you know get bigger and help each other out a little more you know so i agree with that's you. my point yeah that's my point yeah i mean i think it's the same with you know the subaru teaming up with toyota you know and like suzuki being you know uh, doing the the capitalization that they do they do they did a lot with like toyota too you know because well toyota does yeah, yeah. do you want right. to know that tesla is from america oh, oh yes tesla tesla, tesla. you guys that's a big don't one. forget yeah. tesla no, i will not forget elon tesla. will be Getting his Twitter up and in your oh, faces, and you don't want that. Blasting yeah. us. The Tesla's please, stock went up today. Please, oh. please blast us. <laughs> okay, but four. Still, it's not blast seven. Taro. Don't blast me. <laughs> it's not blast Taro. It's, it's, it's still, it's not. Okay, but anyways, um, looking forward to the 2022 Mazda sedan and um, uh, co uh, luxury coupe, as well as any any uh, Toyota or Lexus cars that get that engine. I'm inline looking forward six. to the inline six yeah, of that engine, yeah. too. Yeah. I mean, think about it, man. 30% better gas mileage with. 20% better torque. That's that's that's, a that's no awesome. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, okay. So uh, moving on, we will go to uh, James's favorite car when we were uh, pre prepping this uh, show. Um, this baby here. Whoa. <laughs> Is that a spy rendering? Of course, again? of course, it's a spy rendering. S and, from uh, Japan. From we our hear, Yes, we hear. Go ahead. Well, go ahead. You're looking yeah, at I me with that look, man. I just think we should just say next. I mean, there's no. It's, no, it's not going to happen. They're not going to make an Evo. Uh, if they do make an, they will. if they do make an Evo, they it's going to be a family centric four no, door of SUV. Not. No, Evo no, SUV, of man. Not. What are you talking about? No, of Evo course not. SUV. It's not going to race the Dakar. Yes, so it if it's not going to yeah, race well, the Dakar. How do you know? Well. In 2021, this car is supposedly coming out. We don't know yet. This is what we hear, uh, yeah. and uh, it is all EV because uh, they're not going to have an you know inline a turbocharged inline four version of this and we're calling it the evo um suv for our purposes because that's what essentially it seems like it is uh we don't have a code name for this yet uh but it's supposed to be a super high performance crossover um the drivetrain is it's a super high speed. performance crossover that competes with the prius is that what it is no come on it's going to have over 300 horsepower we hear uh be available on both pure ev and um um PHEV, which you know Mitsubishi is trying to make a name on name for themselves in. Uh, it will also include the SAWC all-wheel control uh, that the Evo had, as mm -hmm. also the whole four-wheel drive system that the Evo had. So <clears throat> um, we know e uh, Mitsubishi is um, capable of making a high-performance uh, EV sports uh, EV sports cars. The reason being. Uh, they made this thing, um, which uh, at that time set the uh, Pike Speak record yep. uh, with, in 2014, uh, actually. Masuda-san. Yeah. Right? With, was uh, it Mas No, no. no. Uh, yeah, Masoka. Masoka. Yeah, Masoka. Masoka-san. Yeah. With uh, nine right. minutes, eight seconds. Uh, and I'm sure your uh, last guest, Mitch Snow, was there to uh, see this. So we do not have specifications yet, uh, but zero to 60 will probably be less than four seconds. And at least a 200 mile, uh, 200 mile driving range. So, mm -hmm. do you think a car like this will satisfy those who are saying, "Bring back the evil"? What happened no. to Mitsubishi? But it satisfies quick, Jim, no. and that's the important thing. Jim likes it, and as long <laughs> Jim as Jim likes it, likes that's, it good. that's the important thing. Don't they already have a full EV um, SUV though, Mitsubishi? Yeah, in, well, in they have the Outlander PHEV. And yeah, then, the PHEV. Yeah, right? yeah, 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 yeah. The yeah. Outlander yeah. PHEV. Yeah, and that's. That's the technology they're trying to build on. I mean, I, I remember, um, uh, what, what was his name, the president, talking to the president, this is a while back, he goes, oh, all we're going to do is we're going to make nothing but crossovers and SUVs and uh, PHEV and electric cars. That's, mm -hmm. that's our thing. No more cars. So right. he goes, you could you know, kiss the Lancer. Back, back then, the, they still had the Lancer. Right. You could kiss the Lancer goodbye. They, and then they brought in the Mirage, which is I, I don't understand. But 
Right, uh, right. I think they're still selling the Mirage too. So yeah, they, yeah, they don't have so. a yeah, yeah. They don't. Yeah. It's not all SUVs, but they just came up with the Eclipse Cross, which right. is a pretty sporty version of mm. of their SUV crossover, which I think. Uh, is a step in the right direction. Mm -hmm. But it's funny, they're bringing in all these names of cars that they've said goodbye to Eclipse. And they're bringing right? it Eclipse back. Cross. Yeah. Why don't they? Uh, this could be the evil, evil cross. Yeah. Hey, James, I, why are you tuned out? I know I'd you don't like I'd this love, car, but it's sorry, your job. Sorry, are we still talking about this evil <laughs> thing? No, let's just move on. It's let's your move. job. Evil to... cross. Yeah. Mm. Uh, were you an evil fan at all? Yes, as Jim said, the Evo Nine's incredible. I'm an Evo Nine. Evo, I'm I an love Evo the Evo fan, 10. but I just don't uh. like. I just don't like how they try to like bring back all these brands, though. Well, they have these, you know, strong brand name. They're only making SUVs. What you know? What else? Yeah, I mean, branding's not really their 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 thing, though. I think they they can. No, they were never. Their, yeah, no. uh, they were never good at brand. They were good yeah. at making cars. cars. They just weren't that great. At yeah, with a lot of cars. a lot of electronics <laughs> yeah. on them, and that's why I, yeah. that's what I loved about the Evo. Reggie's still upset they killed the Eclipse. I'm oh, upset really? that the Eclipse, grew, you know, became that last Eclipse. I liked the Eclipse before that little, that little, I say, that little pocket I just, rocket. You know, bring me the the FTO. That's my favorite. Oh, that was a beautiful car. Yeah, <laughs> it was small, but it was a beautiful it car. It was petite and felt like you, Sam. How about the Starian? Ouch. How about the Starian? Mm, yeah. yeah. Well. They're gonna bring. They're gonna bring that back someday too. The I EV think they should bring the Delica here. Do you remember? Oh, I, I remember wish the I Delica. I had the picture picture of the Delica. Maybe we'll, I'll find it later. But yeah, yeah the Delica awesome. would be. I mean. I think um, Sean Morris, uh, they, he, they bring in, because they're old yeah. already. Bobby likes that 3000 GT VR4. Yeah, me too. And it was a great car, but yeah. it did weigh like four Titanics, yeah. right? I mean, it was a very, yeah, very heavy car. Yeah, but it was still car. quick. It was still quick. It had all this tech on it, but yeah, it, I, I loved it. That's when, you know, that's when they had the horsepower wars. It was. Of, yeah, with it was. the Japanese manufacturers. So, okay, well, I'm excited if Mitsubishi kind of puts their um, uh, mark back into High performance cars because you know they're capable. Of I will make it. you a bet, Sam, that they're this doesn't happen. Hmm? I will make you a bet, Sam, that this does not happen in 2021. Hmm. Would Evo, you like to take that bet? Evo up? SUV. An Evo SUV does not happen. I will put one dollar, <laughs> one dollar of my hard-earned money up against you, Sam. My one dollar against your thousand that this does not happen. Wait, wait, why is it my thousand? Because it seems $1 fair. Because you're so confident. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> one dollar. Hey. You you remember what happened with the Mazda front engine rear drive platform? Just saying, that we broke. Well, I'm just saying, Sam. Else. You could take the risk here. Well, My I, one I dollar mean, to your thousand. Mean, well, it seems uh, fair. Yeah, Taro's yeah, in. Uh, yeah, Taro I seems concerned. Convinced. Yeah, yeah. Uh, one to a thousand. Yeah, yeah that's, a, that's a that's a nice try. Nice <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> Jim likes that FTO too, so I think I'm in good I company. That's no, I love thing. the FTO too. Oh, FTO. You and I are the ro uh, we're, what are we? The we're the thorns between the Jim that's the rose, I guess, and that. FTO discussion. Okay, I don't even know what that means, but moving on. <laughs> Since we have a picture here of the these uh, references are just way too uh, advanced for, for of the for uh, um, the Meve the Meve race car here. Um, Evo Meve. Yeah, oh, what was that? Tell what was that's called? Yeah, I can't. Yeah, remember. Evo Meve. Evo yeah, Meve, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, is it Evo Meve? But something like that. Yeah, yeah. it's not called the, uh, the Meve Evo. Meve Evo. That's and this it. was the Meve Evo three. Right, yeah. So, so uh, and you, as you can see, it is climbing. Pike Speak right here. Mm -hmm. So we'll go straight into Pike Speak? No, nope. almost, <laughs> almost. But it is Pike Speak is, is this it, month, well, by the way. It is. Oh, it is. That's it right. is. End of, it is. End of this end month. Of June. Oh, okay. Our and buddy Dai Yoshihara is campaigning right. his, his. And they've still got uh, lots of snow up there. Oh, oh so really? Be. Lots. Yeah. Really? Yeah. So if anything, oh, it'll my be God. cold. It will be cold you don't and want slippery. You get stuck up there. Well, you, once you're up there, you're stuck. I mean, you have to wait for the shuttle. Everybody and apparently, you lose everybody to bring control, you down. all control of your bodily functions. So you toot like a trooper. Yeah, that's great. I think they have a nice little outhouse. Unfortunately, so no right. live stream uh, broadcast this, this year. No? You're, from you're from live going? stream. Uh, uh, well, oh, from GT Channel, nor anyone. No one's oh, really? It. Yeah. Oh. yeah. We were just a technical partner last oh, year, okay. so we, we kind of like, you know, got the feed and okay. distributed, but yeah, there's no one up there. Well, there is year. a car that uh, set the fastest Pike Speaks lap ever uh, last year. Mm -hmm. uh, we just said this car right here, uh, the Mitsubishi uh, Evo Meve 3, set the record. But did this next car like get up the mountain and back down the mountain before this car went oh, up the could, mountain? It could. It could. Yeah. Because it's nine minutes and eight seconds, right? This car. Uh, the other car, well, it, it, not quite, but it's seven minutes and 57 seconds. So it didn't destroyed. just yeah it didn't it didn't just it it it, it, it didn't destroyed. just destroyed uh, yeah yeah almost a minute faster and it actually beat the you know the Sebastian uh, the, the low the low one yeah the low yeah yeah, the, yeah, the, yeah. The, in the Peugeot in, in the, the Peugeot, Peugeot exactly yeah. so, which 
that one destroyed the record before. Before. So they, they, they thought no one would break that no, forever. But this, 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 this here, oh, there, there's the Evo, your yeah, favorite, favorite not car. Not the Evo. Sorry, no. This car here, called the Volkswagen ID.R, uh, ID.R or IDR was the one that act actually just uh, obliterated the Pikes Peak record. So it, it, it is the current holder of the uh, Pikes Peak uh, hill climb record. And just I think it's last week, it demolished a Nürburgring lap record for EVs with the time of six minutes and five seconds. So if you guys, I, you know, I've been to the Nürburgring a few times, and you know, I've been testing there with. I mean, I mean, anything eight, you know, I mean, eight minutes, nine minutes is, I mean, fast. I mean, I right? heard that Sam went round in just under seven. That's not. Oh, I, I, the, yeah, I, I, the word in the street <laughs> that's was. That's what I thought. Unless I and took that a was, that shortcut and a Fiat and, Punto. But yeah, <laughs> right. Yeah. Then, yeah. <laughs> no, six uh, six minutes five seconds is is absolutely crazy. Uh, Romain Dumas, who was. Uh, uh, so he, did, he, he did Pike he, Speak as well, right? So yeah, he, he did Pike Speak as well. He's, and yeah, the Nurburgring. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So uh, it beat the previous record holder for EVs, uh, the Neo EP9, which I think is a better looking car than this. Well, should, but but by more than 40 seconds. Wow. And the EP9 said it in 2016. So it's this thing just obliterated. So do when you think about it, he his average speed around the Nurburgring was 128.6 miles per hour. Which is well, that's, I'm pretty flying. disappointed. I mean, he didn't really. really. I was really looking for 130. I mean, if I said remain, yeah. come on, 130 <laughs> exactly. is where you need to be. At 144 here, buddy. turn circuit, and I'm going to show you guys something. Is that's that's the uh, that's yeah. the uh, uh, Volkswagen coming in? Uh, you can see everyone's happy. I think those those guys are just stage paid onlookers. To say, Here, wave the flag. <laughs> There's not that many there. There's like ten people there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but you know, I mean, this is I think a good way for Volkswagen to get away from the diesel gate. You know, they're coming up with these new commercials. You see the. With Simon and Garfunkel's on. Are you saying you want to talk more about Dieselgate again, no, Sam? No, no, no. But, oh, here's the uh, Neil. Well, that's change, a nice change car, the right? focus on the EVs for Volkswagen. That's yeah, the, yeah, them, right? and they, yeah. They're saying uh, hopefully they're saying diesels are beyond. Right. But uh, take a look at this. Here, here are some of the here are the fastest Nurburgring times, right? Okay. And these are production cars, so because you know race cars, they're not gonna right. uh, tell you. But 6:44 for Lamborghini. The Neo EP9 was 6:45. Uh, the Nissan G GTR Nismo, that got up in the top 10, which is mm -hmm. good to see a Japanese car in the top 10. And the Volkswagen here, 605. Six, Sam, yeah, I really five. think we need to edit this in Google Docs. Yeah, sorry. It's, 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 <laughs> I see the Google Docs. <laughs> but anyways. Well, so Sam, anyways. Sam's head is, head is uh, kind of hiding Oh, is it blocking? Hiding good, that good, blocking. good, 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 good. So. All right, so what, 60, oh, what did it do? 605. Oh, and my you see, God. Yeah, so you... Kind of see how fast this does is. 644. And that's the fastest production car time yeah. recorded at the right. Nürburgring yeah, ever. A production car, though. Right. But look at the, yeah, look, it's a the look at the IDR. It's like a, a you know, Le Mans prototype. Yeah, it is. The, it's, the yeah. aero dynamic. But this is kind of tells is, you how fast that yeah, that car yeah, was. Amazing. And if you guys are um, interested on YouTube, you could see their lap. You know, their you lap. You can watch both the laps. Huh? And there you can watch the Pikes Peak lap, and you can. Oh watch yeah, the, and this. you know, you hear the. Okay. You know, you don't hear an engine. That's all you hear. Just hear the wine. The, uh, the wine. The wine. I thought it'd be better to give him representation. I know. I think you should do it again. That's right. Yeah. Okay. I mean, maybe you could introduce <laughs> that to nope, Casey in the Sunshine yeah, Band. There you and they go. can maybe we include that in their next the, record. Look at the wing on that thing, though. Look at the wing. Yeah. Right. I mean, it, you're right. It, this, this is a, uh, um, um, a pretty much a race car. This yeah. Is a, yeah this. Well, do I see two people in that car? I mean, do I? Look at that. No, that's probably like one. That's got, that's got to be something <laughs> it's else. Like two helmets yeah, in there. Yeah, I mean, you don't want to suit that. Close right. Person. Yeah. But it, I, I don't. Know. I mean, I'd I mean, sit that close to you, Sam. <laughs> you might. You right. are kind of close. I'd sit that close to you, Sam. Those, those, those two guys are sitting, to sitting really close to each other. <laughs> Not there's anything wrong with that. I think. No, I, I'm. Yeah. I'm, uh, why would you put two people in there? I mean, that's extra weight. That's an extra hundred fifty. Right. Well, uh, Jim could says be staging that picture. They need a much larger font for those text documents, Sam, because you can barely see anything. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. So All you right. should That's really better. edit that in Google Docs. There we go. Better? That's yeah, probably hopefully hey, better. Hey, Jim, is that better? That's, That's We better. definitely need more edits in and Google Docs I'm in the future. To, yeah, well, this, <laughs> I'm surprised this is working, too. Look at that. Yeah, I, yeah. I set this up. Yeah, look at that. I knew this you was going to work. I knew it. Six oh five three three six. That's that's pretty amazing. So hopefully you guys can see that now. Still pretty difficult to read. So right, sorry, as <laughs> best I could do. Well, Jim says it's perfect though. He's a very kind man. I on the other hand, say no. Jimmy needs more go. work here. More work behind the go. seats. So, anyways, what to next? Hold on, hold Sam, on, hold come on. on. What's, what's what's that, that, wait, what is this car? The that's Neo. the Neo. Oh, that's, that's the Neo. one that had the. Uh, I, isn't uh, that the one that? That's beautiful car. Richard Hammond crashed. Oh, is I it? don't know. Is it? I is that the one? Yeah. Oh, oh, is it? I think it is. 
Oh yeah. Oh shoot, gotta watch that episode. (laughs) Yeah. Well. Was that in the Grand Tour that he crashed? Yes. This is yeah. one of the first episodes, right? Yeah, Where I think he... it's the one he crashed. Yeah. I mean, he crashes everything, he right? Does. He just gets <laughs> he does. anything. He does. He, I mean, he just needs to be standing outside and things crash. He's Actually, got that. He's like a magnet. <laughs> Actually, he does, yeah. So anyways, uh, yeah, it's a beautiful car. I mean, that's a car I would think, hey, I'll buy a production version of that. That is a, a really nice beautiful car, car yeah. yeah. And it was, it was the fastest, but not anymore. Um, okay, so moving on, um, we are going to... Google Docs. No, no, your boy, one of your countrymen, oh, uh, l- l- released a sketch of the T50. The or the T50. Dot five zero is it supercar. Dot five? There's a, oh, there is a dot there. There yeah, is. Here. So this is obviously the new one from Gordon Murray mm-hmm. Design, mm-hmm. famed for obviously, as you see, two of his uh, famous designs and things right of there. production. Yes, yes, yes. The wind turbine effects car that um, was technically banned from Formula One, although, and people say it never raced, but it did compete in a practice session, so it did compete in Formula One, and then I think it was stopped after that. But mm-hmm. the idea being it had a large fan on the back that was ground effects and would help pull the car to the ground to do faster laps. I think it actually did go quite quick. Like on one that of those Can Am cars, right? With a big, big oh, uh, fan. Uh, what's it? Chaparral. Chaparral had made one of those, made one yeah. those big cars. Yeah. yeah. So, and then obviously there's the, the XP3, which might look a little bit familiar to everyone as the McLaren F1. Yeah. Uh, and so, yes, yeah, so this it's is a the, beautiful car. It, it is, is a of very the nice. All time yeah. favorite cars. I think that's number one on your list for it is. cars there's, you want. It yeah. is. That's and that's an incredible, great choice, I think, too. Yeah, so we just need a couple, do a couple more podcasts for you to yeah, be able I mean, to buy this. Yeah, <laughs> oh, right. so what? It's, so this one, this this is going to be the the highest he, the highest rev, revving engine I think ever for what's it a V twelve or is it V eight V twelve I think it is is it V twelve Yeah, uh, it's a Cosworth. Yeah, V twelve three point nine liter. V12. And it's going to like rev six hundred fifty like, horsepower. It revved like twelve thousand RPM. Twelve thousand two hundred RPM. Yeah, three seater, <laughs> and you've got space for luggage. Uh, only two and a half yeah. million pounds. So I think it's it's a bargain. So I've already put my money two down. Two and a half million what? Two and a half million pounds. Pounds. Uh, so I've already put my money down sterling. for one. Okay. Yeah. Thanks to the bet with Sam that I believe I'm going to be winning. Put your deposit down. So that's for my deposit. Your one thousand dollar deposit. Yes, for this car. <laughs> <laughs> and what Gordon Murray said about this car is really refreshing. I have a quote here. He says, "I have absolutely no interest in chasing records for top speed or acceleration. Just as with the F1, we have no specific targets for those." Our focus is instead on delivering the purest, most rewarding driving experience of any supercar ever built. It's awesome. You yeah. Know? Yeah. We're not That's here good. to try to, you know, to yeah. try to break records not, or anything. It's not just numbers. Want, yeah. It's just you drive it. Drive you, and feel. You, and yeah. Yeah. It's good. So, That's good. I mean, 980 kilograms. That is, that light. is a light Crazy car. light. Yeah. Wow. All carbon fiber. Well, I mean, he has been developing his carbon fiber tub that he's been for their yeah. single, though their mini cars that they've been producing. I mean, mm-hmm. he's been very active after his designs that he's been working on. So it's very, or everything he's doing is moving forward has been rather groundbreaking and very impressed. And a lovely gentleman to boot the times I've met him. Gordon Murray? Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A great gentleman. Had the chance to meet him a couple of times at Pebble Beach. Nice. Um, only 100 examples, they say, are going to be made of this, right? So yeah, you better get your name on the list. I have. Oh, it's so already on the list. Yeah, yeah because that you bet that I've already won with you. Yeah, That's you right. Put down his deposit right. already. Yeah. $1,000. Well, factories in Surrey, <laughs> the engine, well, Cosworth, and Gearbox are all British. It's just a British car. It's, it's you. It's, it's, you a, it's you as a car. I it mean, is the best British, right? I mean, <laughs> I expect right. nothing less. I mean, Jim and I agree on this. He's like, this is the greatest car ever made. But I hear with Brexit, this car might be canceled because of Brexit. I'm not well, sure it's about all, that. Yeah, it's, I'm all, just it's, all, it's all British. There's nothing. To, <laughs> it's just, a, it's just my, my, my chance to dig him on the whole Brexit fiasco. But well, okay. as soon as you understand what that, what's happening with that, Sam, you can explain it to me in the audience. It'd be great. We'll have a very much enjoyable part. I don't even know if it's on. I think it's on still, right? It's Theresa always, May is on. It's, uh, still uh, on, it's gone. But, but they've delayed it again. Uh, I don't it's it's going to finish on Halloween. Okay. Well, uh, going from this car, this this car, I can't wait to see this car come out. This is going to be just probably, you know, I mean. So what's the schedule on this car? Do we know uh, anything about it? Do we it? know? I think it's uh, 2022, I think, is when it's the, the Yeah, projection. it says pl- the delivery is for plan- it starts in 2022, which is only three years away. So, okay. And if it's, an, if it's another F1, McLaren F1, we, I mean, you're looking at a, another classic, you know, yeah. just a million-dollar or ten or two, million two, dollars. Two, ten million dollars. Ten, ten maybe fifty million dollars. I mean, who knows? Well, what, what what's the F one go for in auction? What's the latest ten. one? Ten. Ten million. 10. I think oh, okay. it's between eight and eight and a half to twelve, depending okay. on what the car is. What, what, how much was it? Do you remember how much it was when it came out? Um, it wasn't a million, was it? It was 
No. Considerably less. I think it was like three, four hundred thousand. I think it was three hundred thousand. Yeah. Okay. So I went and saw the dealership at Park Lane, mm -hmm. uh, the McLaren dealership, which was very nice. So oh, they had cool. one in there. So you actually, yeah. Yeah, and also, I mean, everything about it was great. I mean, the fact that they went out to the stereo oh, company, the stereo yeah. company shaved off three and a half pounds off the stereo to uh -huh. make it lighter. Everything about Crazy. it. Yeah. The fact that they gave you tools, but the tools instead of being steel were titanium because they were lighter. Right. It was a whole premise of everything that you see now after mm -hmm. the fact being commonplace. Is that right. was all started with this car? Right. But a German engine. Well, yeah. yeah. Okay. But they had to make it to his specifications that they said that they wanted it to be 600 horsepower. Mm, okay. okay. And, uh, it was a BMW engine, if you don't remember. Yeah. But, mm -hmm. yeah. Which so. is also funny with the ones they made after with the McLaren, with the Mercedes afterwards. Oh, ah, right, 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 right. But it is a beautiful engine. Yeah, oh, it is. Oh, it's just a, the whole package, the car is just awesome. Yeah. Okay, well, uh, I mistakenly thought that another British firm uh, called Ultima actually helped development in this car. Uh, someone told me, no, Sam, you're mistaken. But the, this British firm actually came up with a, a new car. They just announced it called the RS, and the company is called Ultima. And, uh, not the Nissan Ultima? Not the no, Ultima with a U. Um, <laughs> can you tell me why, uh, how they were connected to the uh, uh, McLaren F1 project? So the Ultima was used as like the mule for the BMW engine and gearbox combination. So they put it in this in an earlier version of this vehicle of sorts. Uh, and, and they, they all kind of look like this. They're, they're, they're all, all very Ultimas. similar. Yeah. Right. Um, group, C, group C Le Mans car. Yeah, and so this is what they did the test miles in the original one before they moved it over into the XP1, I think it was, mm, was the first okay. one, something like that. But yeah, so, so anyway. they were, uh, there was a connection there, but not, yes. they, they didn't help develop the car, so. Correct. Yeah. So anyways, the RS is their newest um, 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 offering, and this, uh, this car, they, uh, they have a car called the GTR, uh, not the Nissan GTR, but GTR just all, just no no dash, mm -hmm. um, and it 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 will replace that, and it comes with uh, let's see six six different engines. So uh, you know your your choice of six different engines. They're all the Corvette engines, so you could get it with a Corvette engine. Uh, the LT5, which is the most powerful one, will, could be tuned to 1,200 horsepower. So mm -hmm. we're talking this car, uh, which is very light, just over 2,000 pounds. So it's very light. Um, with 1,200 horsepower. So yeah. you could kind of imagine how fast this, uh, this mm, car is going to be. Breaking yeah. grip. Right also, there. this is a road car. Okay, yeah. It's not a race car. It's a road car. Okay, So they're going to sell this as a road car. So Jim wanted to remind us yes. that the, the McLaren F1 almost did come with an American engine. Which engine was that? Do you know? It would have been a big block V8 that was going to go. Oh, in it. really? But there was the oh, challenges, okay. and this is uh, what I think is what it would have made the car, car so crude, though. Well, it <laughs> was the, the weight factor. So that's uh, when they went back to heavy. BMW, and BMW said, uh, and they went the McLaren said, "We need a lighter engine," and that's when they made the change. And they couldn't produce the horsepower versus the weight, which mm, is what okay. Gordon was looking well, for. Well, thank you, Jim. Gordon, and, Gordon, and Peter were looking for in the design of the car because everyone ah, forgets okay. that Peter Stevens was involved as well. That's right. Did you put right. it down to Gordon? Well, anyways, get back, back to this car. Thank you, Jim, for that information. So this, uh, Ultima says this will go from 0 to 60 in 2.3 seconds and the quarter mile 9.2 with a 250 mile per hour uh, top speed. And as and this, they are not offering it in any kind of uh, semi-automatic or automatic transmission. It will only come with a traditional manual, which is kind of nice. You That's know, nice. You, yeah, because, you know, That's keep, always keep, nice. that, yeah. keep that alive. I yeah. mean, it's... And to me, I, I you know, if you want to get around a racetrack, I'm still I still like using a manual. You know, mm -hmm. it's just it's just it's just more you're, you're more involved. You know, I'm I'm sure the um, the semi-automatics are faster. Well, that's some, why, Sam. So while I'm doing the semi-automatics, I can just do it with one hand and wave as I go past you're you good, when you're, you're trying to bash you're those good. gears. But the thing is, I don't know if you find this, but when I was driving, and this is you know when they they first came out, uh, when it, we were racing those. Is I, I seem to get my get lost in what gear I was in, so you know when I was uh, braking, I mean I I feel like I downshifted like two times, and then when I'm when I get back on the pedal, oh shit, I'm not in second, I'm in third, you know. So that that was the with the manual, you know exactly what you know what what we're where, gonna where have you're to shifting, we're gonna so. have to bleep that out because of Sam. Why not? Why not? <laughs> Sam's dropping swears. Oh, I said swear. Sorry. You did. Oh, shoot. Sorry. I can't believe you, can you just said that. that. You can bleep that out. Sorry. Can you bleep that out? Yes, I no, can. No, Sorry, Instagram. We'll fix okay. it in post. Yeah, sorry. No, anyways. Facebook thought, and Instagram is fine. I thought that 
around that is that's that's okay, right? I don't, I don't know. I'm just, oh I'm just kidding. Sam, all okay. I'm saying is it's not okay for you to not know what gear you're in. You should always know what gear you're in. You should also <laughs> no, know what revs you're exactly. in the whole time. Well, you should exactly. never need to look well, your speedometer when well, you're driving. When you're, when you, got, you should when, be looking when, when at the next. When you're in traffic, a- when you're in traffic, and you got guys trying to cut you off. Sam, you should be looking at your next apex. That's what you should be looking at. Not when you got a Porsche 911 coming down on you and <laughs> hit you, right? Remember, you remember yeah, the video when you're in a nail. Yeah. When you're in a little Civic. Or yeah, what was, I was that? Civic, you were yeah, in a Civic. Civic yeah. But that was a regular yeah. you know, transmission. So, anyway. So, you're um, saying it was driver error, Sam, at this point? <laughs> well, I got hit. I, I would, I, I was, the guy was just trying to get through too quick. So, anyways. Anyways, should've, back to... should have moved uh, over to the side, right? Like, you know, proper... Should've, I mean, he should have done a racing battle. Racing etiquette. There was, a, there was a straight coming up in two corners. He, <laughs> two short corners. Boom. I, he, straight, he would have he, he would have had it, so... So, are you saying he did a battle and he just blocked him? He was just blocking oh, him in the, no, in the no. Civic Type battle R. Battle did not do anything wrong. He should not have been He's penalized, like, but we're not going to get this, into Take this. Take the VTEC. Uh, <laughs> this is how the car looks from the rear. It uh, does not look like a production car, but that is how uh, the Ultima looks from the rear. what? That's a street legal car? Yes. Street legal car, uh, not uh, you know what they they used to. Um, um, uh, Americans could uh, buy uh, the Ultima as kit cars, mm-hmm. but I don't know if I think with this, it, it might be come in as an, a, a normal car that you might be able to buy because it's gonna it's gonna have AC, air conditioning, uh-huh. infotainment system featuring Bluetooth. Uh, and uh, as long uh, as got Bluetooth, I'm happy. If it didn't yeah. have Bluetooth, I would have said no, <laughs> absolutely and not. Parking sensors and a rear view camera. Well, so that would wow. make it almost street legal in every country. But you take a look at the interior, and you go, that look is that. pretty, pretty, <laughs> pretty basic, man, you know? So I like well, the fact that there, yeah, there's, there's Bluetooth that, on this car is pretty Bluetooth amazing. There's Bluetooth on though. this car. You can see a small display there too i mean this so. car has nothing it doesn't even have windshield wipers but no, it has no it has no, bluetooth have, yeah, bluetooth ac i and think you can install sensors. windshield wipers <laughs> parking sensors and that's probably you see yeah. the monitor there that's probably where you actually you maybe the, it does it have, does have windshield, windshield wipers there's a button, the button. Oh, there's well, a button. It's got, it's, it has to have windshield wipers yeah it has to you know it doesn't look like it has though but it has to yeah. so so doesn't anyways um what do you guys think about cars like these? These little specially niche cars. I, know I like them. Be, uh, would you buy one? Uh, yeah, I mean, if you wanted a track toy, this is the the, the kind of one you want. You want something unique and weird. That Could you this can be have. your only car? No, not for um, me. It'd totally be my only car. <laughs> but then <laughs> I probably, probably. <laughs> my wife would want to obviously drive everywhere else in the other car. But what's the price tag on this? Do, have they? Uh, no price it? yet. No, no, no price, price yet? yet. No price yet. Yeah. I mean, I like them. But they're you know. No. They're novelties. I think you know there's something if you, that's something you're that right, you own it's a as a car, I'm right? Yeah, like, it's, it's like it's, this is also fourth the, or fifth car. This is also the car that you want to turn the, up in if you want to be seen, and this is the one that would upstage a Ferrari and a Lamborghini because they don't know what it is. Yeah, that's true. That's yeah, true. Yeah. They'll yeah. be going. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that is true. Yeah. You pull up in one of these, and people will be taking pictures for sure. Yeah, yeah, and this would bump per, pretty if, darn fast. Yeah, this would bump very fast the Ferrari and Lamborghini at the front of the hotel. That's what it I'd could. Say about this yeah, it yeah. would. Yeah. yeah. And you, know, you, you, you don't have to get the 1200 horsepower version. You get an 800 horsepower version. You know, I mean, right. you could. if you go on in, Sam, you go on all in. You go on 1200 horsepower, nothing. So if you're going to be a bear, it might as well be a grizzly. Uh, <laughs> just, you, right. you, what, what you do in West Hollywood, Sam's a different story. <laughs> Is that? Someone told me that that had some kind of. <laughs> The bear? Uh, yeah, weird. <laughs> we, yeah, other other meanings, but uh, I'm just not. I'm not. I'm not into that. No, I'm not. That, no, I'm not. So, so anyways, so okay. You keep singing Casey in the Sunshine, man, Sammy. Or oh god, that's horrible. Anyways, I, even though I like, I like, I like Casey in the Sunshine. So, so it, yes. it uh, driver sits in the center. No, that's uh, right. The right, right, uh, right. Past yeah, British. Seat. Yeah. Okay, on the wrong side. British Japanese yeah. style. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> British Japanese. Japanese style. style. Uh, for anyone who wants to see this thing in action, it will be uh, its official debut will be at Goodwood. If anyone's going to Goodwood Festival of Speed early July, you will be able to see this thing uh, take to the track. And probably, probably sounds pretty mean, especially with the Corvette engine mm-hmm. in there. You know, probably minimal, minimal um, sound deadening uh, stuff. So, uh, going from this to something, I think it's kind of ugly. But you used to be an FJ owner, right, Toyota? Yes, yes. Toyota FJ owner. Yeah. Well, supposedly Toyota's bringing back that kind of FJ, FJ-ish uh, vibe. I with, love the FJ Cruiser. Yeah, and I like I this love is the called Land the too. TJ Cruiser, and this is based on this is a, a drawing of how the production car would look, but it, so it doesn't look too much different than the show car that they uh, showed at Tokyo Motor Show in 2017. 
looks like the um, um, uh, uh, the product, uh, the feedback from the media and the public were really good on this. So there's looks like they're going to uh, go ahead and get the green light on it. That's what we hear. Uh, the TJ stands for toolbox and J stands for joy. So it's one of those weird Japanese things going on. <laughs> <laughs> and we hear the, uh, it's going to be smaller than uh, uh, an FJ mm -hmm. and a two liter inline four and a hybrid power plant with a okay. 1.8 liter inline four. What is supposed to be really slick about this car is it is both a SUV and kind of a minivan. So you mm -hmm. see the, the rear door, it's a sliding rear door. Thank God, so because the FJ Cruiser has the, the terrible, you know, the suicide doors, and it's like impossible yeah, to get it, in and it, out it's, of those it's things. Just not, yeah, it's just not. Yeah, yeah. It, maybe they, cool. learn, maybe cool they learn mission. from the yeah. FJ Cruiser. Yeah. So yeah. this one, I mean, uh, that's even more usable than a regular rear door, right? Because yeah, because it slides you, you out. I mean, that's you slides out. Yeah, you don't need all that space useful. to open up. So that's what's slick about this. I don't know why no one has really come up, you know, has, has thought about that, putting a sliding rear door. On a on a on SUV, on SUV like SUV. car. Yeah. So yeah. Jim says you couldn't be possibly more wrong. He says meh. He says what? Meh. 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 About this car. About this car. Oh, he doesn't yeah. like. Eh, it's not really pretty, but no, it's not. Pretty. I mean, it looks like a Honda Element. It's probably like Ooh, around the kinda, same size, kinda. right? Uh, an Element. Um, maybe a little smaller. I, don't I do like a Honda Element, only for the fact that I saw some lady with a horse in a Honda Element once. <laughs> I'm sorry, say that again? She was driving her horse around in her Honda Element. You mean with what the, do you mean? With the inside the car? Or yes. No. Inside the car, A little yes. car, like a, like a little donkey kind of pony? Uh, no, it was a horse. How can you put a All horse? Right. A horse can't fit in the Element, though. I only realized... Was that after you were doing that little... Uh, Mushroom thing you were going No, I was on the way. <laughs> Mushrooms are illegal in certain cities. Um, you know, you're, you're, I was on the way to Malibu. Experimenting with mushrooms. About to hit onto Highway 1. And she was parked in the, the uh, was behind me. And then all of a sudden, a horse head just appeared on the driver's shoulder. So she had, I'm like, we've got Kaiju Kiwi here. Are you sure it wasn't like a Great Dane or no, something? No, it was a horse. <laughs> Great Danes are as big as small horses. Is someone commenting on your horse thing? Uh, no, they just say, uh -huh. uh, James, you are right. That is terrible. James, you should lay terrible? off of the mushrooms. Uh, <laughs> and uh, Reggie thinks the front fascia is questionable. It yeah, looks like, it a, is. like a small, like a mini H, like a Hummer you know H2. What? I think this is a new design that the more you look at it, the more you, you, you'll get used to it. You know, it's got kind I, of some... I can see a weird following for this car, though. I mean, I can it, see well, some you're people... Well, an you're an FJ driver. What, do you, what about you? You have a family? I mean, this almost seems like it was tailor-made for you. Yeah, but the si it might be too small for my family, though. Why? You, if you have two kids, it's perfect. Yeah, but, I mean, I have a forerunner. It's obviously smaller than a forerunner, right? You've yeah, got two smaller. dogs. Oh, you two have two dogs, dogs too. Okay, yeah, and right? that one and of those go, dogs likes to, go to do How about you? Thing, you know, it's too small, uh, I think. Uh, no. Are you put, no. <laughs> I, just put me in the car before, Sam. Oh, uh, what car before? Oh, this one? That's for me. It's more like an okay. element, I think. That you know, like folks are going to use it. Ka you, your wife, the, and Kaiju Kiwi, you know, can suburbs get in there. and we, my, yeah. my wife, Kaiju Kiwi, you know what? This and is like, element. Yeah, you're and they're right. going to, you know, still, yeah, you, you know, like that, florists yeah. are going to use you it, and people are going to put like little donkeys in there, and you know, it's going to uh, be like a work is, car. If you could fit a horse in it, I could see the selling point. But if you can't fit a horse in it, it's not going to be good for me. I still don't believe your horse story. I, I still think you were. That was during one your ex no, your experiment experimentation phase. The answer to the Honda Element. That's what it is. Could be, and I think I, I, I really like the sliding rear door. Uh, thing, as long so. as you like it, Sam. I think it'll do yeah, good exactly. in Japan. I think it'll do really good in Japan. Okay. I think because FJ Cruiser's kind of, it's too big for Japan. I hope they learned about the windshield, right? Man, because the FJ Cruiser had a pretty uh, vertical oh, windshield, yeah, and, and all all my FJ Cruiser friends that would keep getting yeah, you know oh, yeah, uh, rocks yeah. and everything are just killing me. our windshield. Yeah. And it is it's too too vertical. Yeah. So it's just, uh, did you have to change your windshield? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah, did. Yeah. How many times? Twice. <laughs> it just, so hopefully this is a little more. Every FJ user has like a crack. Yeah, because it's, it's about the number of times Sam changes his underpants in a week. <laughs> Twice? Yeah. Oh, I don't wear it. No, I'm just joking. All right. Twice a so, day. Twice a <laughs> no wonder. No wonder he gets so popular yeah, exactly. in West Hollywood. Uh, West Hollywood. What are you? What are you? But I can see oh, no, I can see folks. a fan base in Japan though. I can see yeah. folks like getting getting. I can see I can see driving this. around here. Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, it looks really nice with the big wheels and all that, but yeah. Uh, I can, I can Who's see your it. dog? Uh, she's wondering. Okay. Sam, she's had enough of this uh, one. She's like, I've yeah. had enough. Right. Move I've on to the next one. Yeah. I can and see we only happening. have about seven minutes left for our Instagrammer people, so I wanted to get to this before um, uh, we sign off to them. Is 
uh, I think it was just this week, uh, Honda's amazing lawnmower. The mean mower. The mean mower the mean V2, mower. the yep. version 2, yep. uh, just broke the um, um, Guinness Book of World Records for the um, mower to reach 100 miles per hour the fastest. And this thing is amazing. And the criteria was it had to look like a mower. It's completely useless, and it has but to it's cut. awesome. No, nope, it has to cut grass. <laughs> it cut grass. It can cut grass. It can cut grass going yeah. that fast? Uh, I don't know if it can and with those carbon fast. fiber fiber blades, yes, <laughs> it can exactly carbon fiber, fiber blades, blades, which is pretty nuts. Well, uh, and uh, weight it, reduction. Actually, it hit this thing hit a top speed of 150 miles an hour. 155. 150.99. I got, but it could be 150. I think it's. Is that on grass or is that on? No, no, it's it's on. It's on actually here asphalt. in California this week. Oh really? Are yeah. you driving it? No, I'm not. Paying <laughs> <chance to. laughs> it only weighs 309 pounds, and it uh, it is powered by the. Uh, that's that's the more in motion. Uh, it's in Plus, action. As I you mean, can see, there's a lot of grass can be found on racetracks. <laughs> exactly. yeah. so that's well, what you need that to have. All that, but the bag is still back there. Yeah. The bag is there. Yeah. <laughs> so, but it's uh, from this motorcycle, uh, the Fireblade SP. With this thing, uh, it's uh, it's a it's a one liter, 999 cc mm. four cylinder engine, uh, 200 horsepower. So 200 horsepower on a 309 pound mower is pretty nuts that's, and that's pretty uh, fantastic i'm gonna see if i could do this let's see if we could do this uh for those of us who are watching this might take a little time but um what's the, the internet's yeah the, are with we're us. having uh, uh we're always problems. having issues but, oh, 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 it's almost like why yeah why not so why not why not oh, yeah exactly it, it was up uh, and, it, well, it and then it went away ah uh, okay well I mean, I think... Oh, here it goes. Weird. There you go. <laughs> Does that sound I like love a the music. More? I love the music. The dramatic yeah, music. Yeah, that the is... I mean, you, uh... And they, they have to do two runs to get the get, get us you, work. You so have to go like forwards a, and backwards. Yeah. All right. So, okay, so they have to do two runs yeah, to yeah. get it in the book. So that's a lawnmower. <laughs> it's almost like why. <laughs> so anyways, wanted to make sure you guys, we had some video today, which is an extra, extra treat, so. So it is impressive because obviously Honda make the lawnmower, Honda make the motorcycle, Honda make fast cars, and it's a good use of technology. Why not cross? Well, it's cool, so yeah, I mean, why it not? It brings great cool. traffic, it's fun. Great PR, mm -hmm. yeah, correct. And you can great get your, your lawn mowed quicker than anyone else in the world. I, exactly. I don't think you... I, I mean, think, if you show up with that after a tractor race, I that mean, would, you're pretty good. In front of a hotel, that might take the Ultima Ferrari so. and Lamborghini to I the back you, of the line. <laughs> what would be even better is if you give the concierge your bag of lawn clippings. Lawn, exactly, <laughs> there you go. So, so anyways, I, I thought that I wanted to share, share that with you guys. Um, and then... Uh, Going to this car, Carl Tar uh, Taro. Yeah, can you tell me about this yeah, car? Yeah, so uh, Goodwill, uh, not Goodwill. Uh, Goodwood is coming up, right? Mm -hmm. So Mad Mike, our friend uh, Mad Mike Widette from New Zealand, uh, just did a, apparently a, a collaboration with Lambo. So he got a Lamborghini for Lamborghini. those people that don't know the slang <laughs> exactly. with the kids. And so uh, this car is called the Slambo. Oh, here we go. It's a, it's a, yeah, Slambo. It's a slam down Lamborghini Huracan, I believe. Um, with a uh, Liberty Walk kit and some uh, suspension upgrades and some steering, so engine mad, upgrades. Mad Mike, I don't know about engine upgrades. Um, didn't didn't mention uh, engine upgrades, but um, is it running anything like the Performante? I'm assuming me it's going to have the Performante exhaust and things like that. I I don't know. I don't know. Didn't have much details on it, but he's taking it to Goodwood to. Uh, what what was the reason for being of this car? The drift to drift. I think so. To to take it to Goodwood and just. You know, raise I, hell. I do very much like the ruddy form wheels that they've got. Oh, I like the, uh, yeah, I kind of like the and rear I like, fender. Uh, I like the drift setup with the two different wheels as well. It is slammed. Oh, it yeah, is it really is. down low yeah. on the ground. Yeah, it is. So, hey, any it's Lamborghini, cool are those? Oh, and then there's a Red Bull uh, logo there. So, yeah. yeah, so he's still, yeah. So, my, Mad Mike's a Red I Bull I think it's guy, bagged. So. Uh, Reggie was asking. I think it's back to back Lambo. That's oh. why it's called Slam. Oh yeah, because it's not static like that, is it? Okay, yeah, maybe. 
Well, it makes sense to be back since it's easy to move around. And right, drive. right, right. To mm -hmm. carry it, you know, yeah. But move it, it's move it around, put it on a trailer. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But it's a yeah, it's it's, it's a neat car. I mean, yeah, Lamborghinis are kind of neat. So I mean, I'm I still kind of question what. It'll get a million yeah, it's views. Like, why? Uh, is it just to get views? Probably just It'll to get, get views. Why are you looking at me like that? Sam, <laughs> here we go. you've got to get in touch with the youth here. Okay. <laughs> I, mean, I am in touch with the youth. I mean, I know you're here. I am part of the youth. I mean, I know you're in your 60s now. I am not in my 60s. Uh, well, I How dare to, you, sir? I didn't want to say you're in your 70s, but... I dare you, sir. Being, uh, my hairline is still intact. Being the age that you are. <laughs> he's still 6'5 and you know 200 pounds that remember exactly six, five. he's got yeah. a flaming head of red hair yeah. they call him the bear he doesn't wear underpants I mean we know <laughs> oh, this about gosh. you Sam because you talked about it today but off, this off record I did but this okay. is a very cool car it's one that's fun it's one that like uh, Tara said is I didn't be say it wasn't fun I'm just saying why does this car exist? That's all I'm asking. Well, it exists. Let's go, let's go drifting and do a bunch of donuts. All right, that's cool. fine. Because okay, this is the one cool. that you could drift and then you could take it to the shops and put your groceries in the front. Yeah, look at that. That's because a Liberty it's Walk kid on a, on yeah, a Lambo. Looks cool. It looks cool. It does. It looks cool. Like that's it. actually functional, too, right? Like a lot of the... Like, What's functional? Like no, a lot the of the Liberty Walk, you know, kits are just, you know, for, mm. for looks, but... If Mad Mike's going to take it and actually drift in it, it's you know obviously it's it's tuned to and to perform. Mike's got a growing family, of course, as well, so it's perfect for that. It's a perfect family car, better than the TJ. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I mean, obviously, you'd have a bit of trouble with the the two kids in the back, but still. No, you and Kaiju Kiwi could get into that thing, right? Yeah. So, anyways, uh, it would have been cool to see some kind of engine, but what you know, why? Well, it's it got, got released so the, much it's a horsepower. It got released this morning, Sam. Please, we're just oh, trying to be the crux. It's new. It's new. It's it was breaking. released six hours ago. Oh, really? Uh oh, oh that, that means... sounds like it's alarm. So, yep, saying, that... are we saying goodbye to our Instagram goodbye viewers? Our Instagram. So, Instagram will be leaving in about a minute. So, thank you, Instagrammers. Uh, thank you, everyone, and thank you for all the questions on Instagram. We very much Instagram. appreciate we're this. We're pretty much through almost all of it here. But if you'd like to uh, hang out for another ten minutes on Facebook Live. Uh, you could catch the very end of our show. The remaining 10 minutes is Sam plugging his book anyway, no, so don't worry about yeah. it. Oh, what don't, is that book, by the way, Sam? Uh, you'll, you'll, see, you'll oh. see it on the screen here. <laughs> so anyways, going from there to What's the next? little sadder news oh, is uh, we said goodbye to Mr. Nicky Lada mm -hmm. uh, this week. Uh, Three-time Formula One champion. Not this week. Last, uh, week. last week, I'm sorry, yeah. Three-time Formula One champion, Austrian, uh, famed Ferrari driver, famous for that incredible incredible horrific crash that burned you know almost you know half his face as you could see and uh chronicled in the movie i think it was rush right correct yes and james hunt one of my all-time favorite that was a good, drivers that was a good movie that was a good movie uh, and you know if you guys saw rush i mean uh chris hemsworth did a pretty good job i mean he looks kind of like him but um but yeah. James Hunt was just, he was just larger than life, that guy. Yeah. So, uh, that and Nicky Lotto is just a uh, gentleman extraordinaire. Um, uh, just F1 legend, you know, uh, yeah. with his days with Ferrari and stuff. So it was. Uh, he was a good one. Yeah. And, so, and you know, cheers. he was, and he was uh, uh, active in Formula One and uh, I think aviation. Uh, he was an entrepreneur in the avi aviation industry too. So. Yes, he had his own airline, Lauda Air. Lauda Air, that's right. Yes, which so. then sold to Swiss Air. Oh, is that what? what uh, well, yeah. So, uh, and he was still at all the races. Obviously, still yeah, very he much was. involved with yes, Mercedes. Yes, he was. Mm -hmm. Yes, he was. Uh, I, I mean, I just—it almost seemed like I just saw him on TV not that long ago. So he was. Yeah, uh, he, yeah, this he year, was. Yeah. yeah. So. yeah. so, anyways, uh, he lost the legend. So he's probably up there with James Hunt having a having a beer. I don't know if he drinks, but James Hunt is having beers <laughs> in heaven for sure, <laughs> smoking a cigarette, <laughs> chasing women. So. Anyways, uh, it's, it's uh, sad to see another Formula One legend go. And we had another passing today. Well, uh, that was this that week, this one with Norman. This one? Yeah. Norman Dewis. Uh, you, you, so he you? was the Jaguar test driver, mm -hmm. um, but also had a very long career in regard to the automotive industry. Started working in the automotive industry at the age of 14. Um, 14? Right? Yeah, uh -huh. then was obviously took part in World War II, where he was a gunner on a, a fighter bomber for the British Air Force, the RAF. After World War II, went back to work for Jaguar and awesome. test drive cars. Was a test driver for most of their Le Mans cars in the 60s. Um, so C-Type, D-Type, 120, 140, XJ. Um, lots and lots so, of so, miles. Mm -hmm. So much so, made a great friend. Also was the co-driver for Sterling Moss uh, in the WRC events that he raced in. 
Um, but a great guy. Also was famous for driving the, an E-Type Jaguar to the Swiss Motor Show from the factory in 15 hours. So that is <laughs> 700 miles. <laughs> Obviously, you have to cross a sea there as well right. in that. There's a little channel there. No. Yeah, and, but there was no motorways at the time. So it was all back roads. Holy wow. cow. So, and uh, also was the pioneer uh, test driver for the disc brake. Oh, oh, he was. Right. Yeah, because obviously the, the, the Jaguars were the, were the first, first cars to yeah. run them. Yeah. Uh, what are these big discs on these cars? I and think Jaguars were the first one to run full independent suspensions too. So Jaguars, yeah. Uh, they pushed the boundary. Yeah. 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 And he looks so British. Uh, he does. <laughs> and so he <laughs> passed, passed away at the age of 98. 98. 98. Oh, yeah. Last week. Ah. Yeah. Um, oh, by the way, I think Nicky Lauder was 70. I don't know if I you, think I, so Yeah, too. I didn't uh, uh, mention that. But I, yeah. I had the chance to talk to him uh, at Pebble Beach one year, a few years back. Mm -hmm. Uh, very much a lovely gentleman. So yeah, shame to be lost, but a legend of for British it's awesome. You met him. Yeah. Well, you should have gave That's us great. a picture of you. Didn't get to pick, take a picture with him. No, we spent too much time chatting. He was like, uh, I understand yeah, you know really? a guy called Sam Matoni. Oh yeah, right, yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you say these things, and sometimes I believe those <laughs> stories. But anyways, that's so we lost another another legend there, mm -hmm. right? And uh, I think that's about it. We hate to end on a low note, but it's no, nice well, to celebrate a, these people. Let's right. end on a high note, Sam. Right, let's talk firstly about your book. The uh, <laughs> book has always been out there, but I am working on another one right now, so I have started Ooh, working on it. Can, oh, yes. can you give us any hot tips on what's happening in this next book? Uh, what's going the on only in the next thing book? is it's, uh, it doesn't have anything to do with the automotive industry. What? I know, I know. Selling out. Well, uh, uh, but it's, wow. but it's, it's, I'm very excited about it. I got the outline already pretty much done. It's and I've actually started writing this uh, first chapter, so it's uh, it's it's exciting. I'm I'm really kind of pumped up uh, with you know. I can see that bead of sweat forming on your brow as you talk about it because of your excitement, Sam. No, I do. I'm I'm, I'm excited. So we'll see. I mean, it takes about a year to write a, a novel. So yeah, I don't want to know where else you're sweating right now, Sam. But that bead of sweat in your forehead tells me enough about <laughs> it's okay, this. Okay, I changed. Uh, look, yeah, I right, right, right. I so how's the prototype doing? Is it is it doing it's well doing, on, it's on doing Amazon? And oh, it's doing really well. It's getting. It's, I heard it was. It's, on it's got a lot of good reviews. Uh, the, I think my next one is coming is uh, Kirkus, which is a big one. Mm -hmm. So, but uh, fortunately, not one bad review yet, which That's is good. really good. I heard uh, it was on the New York Times bestseller list. No, I, yeah. it, uh, uh, almost. The publisher doesn't have that kind of clout yet. So. That's what I heard. I had to go with a small so publisher. All I'll say is that's what I heard. But it's okay. You go with small publishers for your first book. Everyone does. Are, so. you, are you? Is the same publisher going no, to publish? No, no, no. I'm oh, going to really? go with another one. Yeah, because they're, yeah, I'm going to go with another one. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to go a little more big time. I hope. I, I hope. can't yeah. believe you're being controversial, well, Sam. On I'm the not podcast. being controversial. But well, you said you're going to go big time with this publisher, whereas that would suggest the other publisher was not big time. Mm, I'm not going to say, uh, I'm not going to say a thing. But anyways, uh, for what it is, the prototype is doing very well. Well, that's great um, to hear. And thank you. A future uh, New York Times bestseller, if it's not already, because I hope, that's what I, I like. I said I heard that, Sam. Well, you know, a couple of my friends have published books, and their first books were, you know, small, uh, what you would call it, small publishers and stuff. But then they went on to much bigger and better things. And their their first their first books that they went with the small publisher became movies. Was that, are you talking about your friend J.K. Rowling here? Yeah. Oh, yeah, J.K., yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Actually, she, uh, you know, supposedly, I think it was over 140, uh, uh, um, like, denials, you know, I mean, after she wrote the query letters, mm -hmm. rejections. Mm -hmm. And she, she kept at it, and look what happened. She's yeah. almost as rich as James, the Mickey-Oni clan, you know? <laughs> so, but anyways, um, so the prototype. Uh, Jim, now, Jim says that he bought your book. The prototype. Thank you, Jim. <laughs> he also says that he wouldn't be surprised if it becomes a movie. I, it sh I think I, it should be. Oh, you I, read I, it. I thought, I uh, thought it should be a you, movie. you, these guys read it. Well, you know who did read it? <laughs> Your dad, but I he didn't. It. He did read it. Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> he so, listened to it on Audible good, because uh, I believe it's, it's, it's a, good, on, it's a it, good movie book. Is it available on Audible? Uh, there it is right there, right? Oh, oh then he can, you But know, here's the thing is I did have a one publisher contact me on Facebook Messenger, of all things, saying, just read your book, loved it. Uh, it, it, it would be interested in any future projects you have. So really? he goes, yeah, what are you working on now? So there you go. So it's good, yeah. So uh, it's getting good. No good, movie good producers? Rate. No studios have contacted? Uh, not contacted. yet, but I have a guy who's supposed to be, you know, uh, marketing it, but he's not doing a stellar job, but I'm not going to say his name. But anyways, <laughs> so no, but, uh, you know, it took, look at um, uh, Go Like Hell, was the uh, A.J. Bames uh, um, book on Ferrari versus 
um, Ford, and now you, we have that. Of, we have that movie coming. We have out. that movie yeah. called Ford, Ford versus, versus Ferrari. Ferrari. Yeah. That looks like a good one. And who is who is starring in that movie, Sam? That is um, Sam Matani, Christian Bale, and Matt Damon. <laughs> I thought Sam Matani was going to be the big star no, of that movie. No, 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 no. I could have sworn you no. looked the dead ringer for Carol Shelby. <laughs> no, if, if it's if it's Honda versus, right? Then we have me and Taro could probably get okay. in there, right? So, yeah, okay. um, Honda but yeah. Uh, also, uh, the art of racing in the rain uh, is going to be a movie with Kevin. Who I think Kevin Costner is the voice of the dog. The dog is actually uh, the uh, main character. And mm. I actually read that uh, author's query letter, and you know, he his normal agent says, "Dog is narrating this book," and he goes, "Forget it," and he, he says, I'm, "I'm not I'm not representing the, this book," and he says, "Okay, fine." I go to another. He goes to another agent. Thing becomes a bestseller. Right. Now it's a movie. So and it's yeah. beautifully filmed. And I think uh, Jeff Swart had some uh, behind oh, did the he scenes have okay, working on so. the motor racing aspects of mm, the car, okay. the filming of it. Also, we've got the the John DeLorean story, isn't yeah. that? That's right. Yeah, that's, that's right. Alec Who's, Baldwin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, yeah. He look, yeah. kind of looks like he him, does. which is good. So. I think he's got a fake chin. Oh yeah. Uh, in that? Oh, okay. That, that, well, they that, make him up. Yeah, quite that a, DeLorean. Good. He was a he was a crazy man. Though. Oh I mean, yeah. That, well, you know. Yeah. I mean, yeah, 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 yeah. But I just wish I had a John DeLorean watch. Did he make a watch? He too? did make oh, watches. Okay. He made watches. He too. did make watches. He sold drugs too. He didn't sell drugs, <laughs> Taro. He was fitted up by the FBI. <laughs> well, him. And then you, well, watch, go watch the movie. I think yeah, the, the DeLorean good. movie, I think, came out last week. Yes. And then the uh, Ford vs. Ferrari comes, comes out in November. November here. Right? And I think yeah. the... Art Racing in the Rain comes out yeah. soon, too. I saw, I, I I saw I trailers. Was, I is it already July. out? Oh, is it July? I think, okay. yeah. yeah. I think a lot a of car, movie. car movies coming out, so that'll be... That'll There's be a bunch of car movies on Netflix, too, that are really good. Well, they got the Formula One thing. I remember that one, and... But uh, maybe this one's coming into a theater near you in a few years, which will be good. Mm -hmm. I hope so. But and hopefully thank we'll, you, Jim. Hope we'll all have a starring role in it, too, I think. Oh, oh, you I, guys are... Well, yeah, I got the character is already based on me anyway, yeah. so... And we have the snotty British, you know, car owner. <laughs> uh, perfect. So that's me. <laughs> exactly. And as long as Kaiju so, uh, Kiwi can sneak on screen. Oh, it's no problem. But anyways, it's available to Amazon, so if anyone is interested in picking it up... Uh, it's been getting very good reviews. Go check it out. I think you'll like it. Uh, Taro actually read it, and he, you liked it, right? I liked it, yeah. And your wife really liked it. My wife loved it. Yeah, see, so it's for everyone. My wife was like, man, Sam really put himself out there. It's like, what are you talking about? What? That character is him. It's like, no, it's, no, it's not. It's not me. <laughs> it's not me. I was like, so trust oh, me, it's Really? Not me. If you think about it, well, yeah, maybe no, it no, is. No, 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 no. <laughs> but anyways. But, <laughs> but Sam, we've talked yeah. enough about your book, but more importantly, Tara, where can we buy yeah, GT, GT Channel merchandise? <laughs> <laughs> go to the website. And you'll find them there. Because I think they make lovely hats and lovely t-shirts. GT Channel. Yeah, I looked at the t-shirt you're wearing. GTChannel.com. We have t-shirts. I don't think we have hats on the site yet. You should. That's uh, a pretty, pretty cool hat. Yeah, it's a yeah. GT Channel hat. Uh -huh. uh, but we have plenty of shirts now on the site okay. where you can go. Um, go to GTChannel.com. Check out the new videos that are enhanced with the micro moments. Mm. And uh, they can even yeah, find enjoy. car reviews as well there. Oh, oh yes, and your reviews are up there now to be yes. yes, the Mazda, which we didn't forget to talk about, Sam. The Mazda. We'll, we'll do that next right. week. Sorry, but uh, quick we'll, we'll put your yeah. Uh, quick, quick mention. Quick, 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 quick mention. Well, yeah, we've quick got the mention. photos there, yeah. Sam, haven't you? Yes, I do somewhere. So there we go. See, so I'm driving the new uh, mid, uh, Mazda 3 Series sedan. Mm -hmm. It is the premier model. It is all-wheel drive. So I spent yeah, some time. We have very slow. Very yeah, slow I mean, I spend all this time taking these photos, Sam. And <laughs> oh, are these your photos? Of course, they're oh, my wonderful. photos. <laughs> we, don't, so, we don't mess with press photos here. We want no, we, we want real. No, we, we actually drive percent and take pictures. Yeah. Photos that are eventually going to show up some stage, Sam. I'm yeah, glad you prepared so. everything but this. Uh, I forgot. But Sorry. the car is. <laughs> it comes in. I think just shy of thirty thousand. There we go. There we That's go. not your shot, is it? It is. That's beautiful. I try, Sam. That's a great shot, actually. Look, Where'd you take this? That was up in the Redwoods, up north. Oh. You're not joking. This is your of shot. Of course, I never joke, Sam. Is it, this is past <laughs> the road. Joke. Is this is this past the road and track really photography nice. thing? Because I know last, actually it does. Last, so last time I had a Mazda, I wasn't. It didn't pass the. No, you. No, you shot I liked it. it with the, you in had, front of the graffiti, yeah, graffiti right? No, yeah, but the window it. window should have been down. Oh, oh the that windows was were yeah, halfway. That, yeah, that yeah. So it ruined everything. So this time, Sam, I made sure. The windows were up. up. Yes. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. Yeah. There you go. That's a, that's a great backdrop, too. I mean, the, the uh, red. Uh, 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 SLR? I mean, it's not your, your Not my phone, phone. Yeah, Sam. Yeah. I'm a professional. I use yeah. my GoPro. 
<laughs> was a, this wasn't GoPro. But uh, you could use a little more depth of field, you know, blur the background a little bit. Yeah. It would have been, all right, all right. Just, that, just putting the, it out there. Is that the tips? Out there. For, yeah. Yeah. He knows yeah. nothing yeah. about <laughs> photos. Thanks. So what are you talking about? I'm a published photographer. <laughs> Uh, uh, sorry. This right, so, what do you think of the drive? Yes, go it ahead. Was, talk it about was the car. nice and comfortable. Yeah. I mean, it's it, it's uh, the only thing I will say. I feel the car's a little short. I think it could do with an extra. What well, is a Mazda three? You exactly. Get the Mazda yeah. Six for that. Yeah. Right? yeah. So yeah. it could have done with uh, a little bit of space in the back. Is all I'd say. Um, but as a, as a compact, like luxurious car, I mean, Mazda's certainly hitting their marks in regards to going for something more luxurious mm -hmm. for the price point. Uh, it certainly looks more expensive how than the price. It? How much is it? I think this one tests at thirty thousand. I think it starts at twenty-two thousand. Whoa! For a Mazda three? Oh, the test. Was the three. Okay. Yes, this is the, the, this, is the this is the top of the this range is, so model. So it's loaded with yeah. Yeah. everything. So yeah. this has got all the tech, all the shebang, everything. Right. But like I said, starts at twenty-two. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah. So there's the range goes up. Yeah. All-wheel drive, two hundred eighty-six horsepower. That's so pretty good. It's okay. nice, yeah. perfect little two to car. Yeah. Uh, is it? Does it drive sportier than? It's competitors because you've driven Toyotas and stuff. Um, I think, well, the last one I did was the Corolla, the mm -hmm. 2-liter Corolla. Um, I think they preferred the Corolla because obviously it's a smaller car if the compact because mm -hmm. of the hatchback, so I think it's a better stance. This one just feels... Well, you could get this in a hatchback too, so... Yeah, yeah, but I think that this one feels like one more of a one that's good for a family car. Mm -hmm. I think okay. it's, it hits really does hit that family car notion out of the park there mm -hmm. because yeah. the, obviously the Corolla came with the manual, so it feels a little bit sportier. Mm, yeah, okay, but yeah. this is. But Mazda's supposed to be sporty, you know, so right? That's well, kind of their DNA, mm, right? Well, I'm take, comparing this to my last Mazda Rodrigo, which is obviously the, the Miata. Mm -hmm. So, well, yeah, that's, that's the sporty, sporty end of it. This is the, the family car sports market sports that hits the marks. So. Right. So, yeah. Wonderful. So, so nice. it's a thumbs up. Yeah, thumbs up. Okay. Awesome. Zero out of 10. Let's, that, that gives us a good idea. Of what, zero out of 10, what would you give it? Ah, oh, ten. ten. I couldn't say any card that I don't drive. It's a ten out of oh, ten. <laughs> well, there you go. Ten out of ten. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, and they can find the review. Thumbs up. It's obviously thumbs up. on GT on Channel. Full channel. review or on gtchannel.com. Okay. Nobreaking.com. N o b r a k i n g. What, what is no breaking? Doc, uh, no breaking again. That is a car website, Sam, and a fantastic podcast that I believe you've guessed it on. Oh, that's right. I have. You have, and so it's a fantastic one, right? And that is where everyone can sign up, and they can find it on. Where can they find it? I think they can find it on iTunes. They can find it on Spotify. They can find it on Stitcher. They can find it on TuneIn. They can find it across the web, and they can just click and listen, or they can download and listen, take it away in their phone, listen in the car. Great for commuting. It's awesome. It's kind of our sister uh, podcast because mm -hmm. you yeah. know they do guests where we don't. Where we don't. And yeah. it, and how right? long, how does, long does are the uh, each other. Your, your episodes? Usually? Episodes generally go from 35 minutes to an hour and So it's a minutes. great commuting, you know, yeah. listening. Perfect for commuting, yeah. Yeah, right. And like I said, we've had some Podcast. great guests on recently, and so it's well worth a listen. Awesome. And they could always find me on Instagram and Facebook at no breaking, N-O-B-R-A-K-I-N-G. Perfect. Perfect. And GT Channel also, GT Channel GT Channel so com. Find us on videos. Facebook at GT Channel. Find us on Instagram, at GD Channel. Just follow us wherever you can. And I guess okay. lastly, we can't forget that since Kaiju Kiwi's been so good, they can find Kaiju Kiwi at Kaiju Kiwi. <laughs> K-I-J-U-K-I-W-I. Right. Kai which is, which is yeah. Awesome. Um, so we got through it without any major disasters. Uh, it's seven. never been a disaster, Sam, unless yeah. you don't wear underwear. Podcast. I'm this this right this uh, this month's uh, podcast went pretty smooth. No, so no problem. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. Behind the scenes, uh, we will leave have us more. comments, yeah. please. In the we please. will have more scoops. We have our guys working out there right now, collecting all kinds of inside information. So, um, and if you guys have any inside information to share, go ahead and leave it on GT Channel. It won't be inside anymore. It'd be, it would be public, but hit us, hit us up. Yeah. Um, you know, well, send or us messages. Message. Yeah, yeah. yeah so. send us messages. So, anyways, uh, we will see you all next month, so, In July. Yeah. yeah. So, um, good luck, not Godspeed, but Potspeed to all of you, and we will see you next month. See ya. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.